Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will be sharing this set of Halloween nails using nail art micro pens as well as I will share how I apply these full nail tips to my nails. So if you're interested, stick around. So I wanna tell you before I get started, I am using a bunch of different products from different stores that you can purchase online and I will have the links for everything I used in this video down below as well as if I have any 10% off codes with the items I used I'll put them down below too and I'll put them up on the screen as well so I'm using the full nail tips these are short almond tips and these are from Anneology and I do have a 10% off code for them you can see that up on the screen it'll be down below as well so you can get 10% off and these are the perfect fitting uh, full nail tips I never have to adjust them I'm just sizing make sure they go from sidewall to sidewall without going over or under for that matter and once I'm done my thumb then I can start applying them and I'll show you the products I use to apply them Now they're ready for application, so I'm going to take some nail prep and spray my nails to remove oils and dust from them. And I have my three-step system out. This is my favorite way of applying full nail tips over poly gel, hard gels, any type of gel. This is the best system. They last so long with this system. So just wiping off the oil and dust off my nails. And then I'm going to take number one. Now the system is from Daily Charm. Again, the links will be down below, but this is the primer. It's the first one you apply. So I apply a thin layer to all of my nails. And once I do apply it, I have to let it dry for 30 seconds before applying step two. And I have a 10% off code from Daily Charm. You can see that up on the screen as well. It'll be down below too, but it's just applying that and then letting it dry for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna grab number two right away. So number two is the bonder and now that I've let it dry for that 30 seconds I'm going to take the bonder and I'm going to apply a thin layer to all of my nails again. Make sure you cover all of the nails even the sides of the nail so that when the product is applied and the full nail tips they will bond very nicely to the nail and you won't have any troubles. So that's going to dry for 30 seconds while that's drying. I have to take the full nail tips, the underside of them, and where it's gonna go on the nail, I wanna apply that bonder as well. And I have to let it dry for 30 seconds on these tips once I apply it before I apply number three, the next step. So it now has dried for 30 seconds, taking the extension gel number three, and I'm gonna take the tip I'm gonna get my light ready and I have a small light I always use when applying these. I'll show you here right away. There it is, you can see the end of it. This is from Amazon, I'll have that link down below too. And I'm just gonna turn it on, get it ready. And I'm gonna grab my first tip. I usually start with my pinky and I wanna do a thin layer of the extension gel on the tip where it's gonna go on my natural nail so it covers the natural nail with that thin layer. And then I have to put a dollop or a bead of that gel right on the end by the cuticle, just enough to cover my nail, but not go over my nail and not have any air bubbles. So once I put it down, I look quickly and then I got to keep pressure on it because I don't want the air bubbles and I don't want it moving. And once it's straight, I flash cure it under the mini light and I usually leave it there about five, seven seconds. And then I'll put it in my big light to let it cure a few more seconds. And I don't do a full cure on each one until the very end. So now moving on to the next one. I think I show you one or two more. So I'll let you watch me do that. And then the next step, I will be back.
I always get a lot of messages on applying these full nail tips in the system. So hopefully watching and seeing and explaining, you understand better how the system works and how to do it correctly so that you get long wear out of these full nail tips. I could go three, four, five weeks for that matter. They'd still be good. It works so, so well. So now I'm done applying the full nail tips. So now I'm taking my favorite bit. This one is from Erica's ATA. And this works perfect for getting right up by the cuticle and removing any product that might have seeped out when it was being cured. And I'll put the link for it down below. And I also have a 10% off code for Erica's ATA. You can see that up on the screen. That'll be down in the description in case you want to use that. So taking a file and I like to file the sides. Now I'm buffing the tips. Normally it'd be done ready for applying the gel polishes, but there's one more thing I wanna show you that works really well at sealing these tips up. So I have my little dabbing dish from Daily Charm and I have some 100% acetone. Taking a cleanup brush and you don't want a bunch of product, just wipe it off on a paper towel like I am now and just go around the cuticle area and that's gonna seal the tip up really nicely. Then no moisture can get under there and it also prevents lifting with the natural nail and the tip as it grows out. So next I just wipe all of the nails with the micropropyl alcohol to remove any dust that may be left behind from filing. So I'm taking Ballerina from Daily Charm. That's going to be my base for these nails. Look at how beautiful that color is. You'll see when it goes on. It's a jelly color from Daily Charm. They have so many beautiful jelly colors. They're very sheer and very pretty. I love using them as a base for art or just for a set of nails, they're so pretty, you'll see that. So one coat is going on, and of course it's gonna cure for 30 seconds. There it is. I'm just gonna grab a detail brush and get right up close to my cuticles. This brush is from Daily Charm as well, if you're looking for a good one. So once I do that, it will cure for 30 seconds. Then you will see me applying the second coat. I do all of the nails in this color, so I only show you the pinky, and then I'll show you when they're all done before doing the art, but look at how pretty it is. Such a nice color. So there they are all done, beautiful, right? Perfect base color. So to begin with, I'm taking these stickers from Daily Charm. I think I showed them in my last nail art haul from Daily Charm. That video is up in the top right hand corner if you wanna see everything from that haul. There was Halloween, there was fall products, lots of good nail art anyways. I did wipe the nail with some isopropyl alcohol so that the sticker will stick. Now applying it, once I get it to where I want it, I'm gonna flip the tweezer around. This is from Daily Charm as well, this tweezer, and I'm just gonna make sure and push it down so it's down nice and secure on my nail so it's gonna be easy to cover up later on. I do wanna use one more sticker from this sheet. There's little spiders that are hanging, so once I'm done pushing this down, I'm gonna grab one of those and I'm going to be applying it to the pinky. You can see me wiping it with isopropyl alcohol. So I remove that sticky inhibition layer and then it'll stick nicely, centering it and then I'll push it down. And just so you know, I will be showing you the micro pens next. That was the whole point of the video is I wanted to show you how you can do really great art with the micro pens. And I will bring those out right away once I get that pushed down and show you the colors I'll be using. So before I do that though, I wanna apply a velvet matte top coat to the two nails that I'll be doing the micro pens or using them on because it's just gonna make it go on so nicely. And I just advise using the Velvet Matte Top Coat from Daily Charm before you do the micro pens and cure it for 60 seconds. So here's the first one. This is from Daily Charm. It's the white and there's the tip of it. They work so well. If you're not good with uh, art brushes, then you can use these. So I'm just gonna do an outline here first, and it's gonna end up being a ghost. It turns out so cute. 
So once I do the outline, I'll start filling it in. So I'll just let you watch me do that. You may see me taking the pen once in a while to the side and I'm just pushing on the tip just to get the color to come out a little better. So I wanted to add just a little bit more width at the top of the ghost so just doing that quickly and then I decided my ghost needed a little arm so I'm gonna do that and then make sure with these micro pens that you let them dry before you ever top coat them then you will have no chipping so that's really important they should be fully dry and then you can go ahead and top coat them I'm gonna add one more thing to the ghost before I'm done I'm gonna grab the next color right away to show you. And they do have a few different colors in these micro pens, just so you know. So there's the black. So I'll be using that for the eyes of the ghost and the mouth. So I'm just gonna draw those quickly. And then I will let this one dry while I move on to the next nail that I'll be using the micro pens on. How cute, right? So for the next nail, I'm gonna be drawing a mummy. So I have to do a bunch of lines crisscrossing them all over the nail. So I'll just let you watch me do that. And when I'm done with all of those lines, I will be back to explain what I'm doing next. So I think I'm pretty much done all the lines for the mummy. I'll let it dry for a few seconds. Then I'm going to grab the black again, the micro pen, and I'm going to draw a couple cute little eyes, kind of more in the middle near the top to finish the mummy. And I loved using the micro pens. They work so well. As you saw, just a great alternative to using uh, gel polishes or gel paint to do nail art. So I have one more nail to do, the thumb. So I'm going to grab some Perfect White from Daily Charm in their gel polish. I put it on a palette, I didn't show it in the video, but I'm taking a dotting tool and taking the Perfect White and just doing dots, not curing them. And now I'm taking their nail art brush, their uh, smaller one, and I'm just gonna make a four points to make stars on these 
two dots and I think I added uh, three or four more dots to this nail just to finish it off and then I cure it for 30 seconds. So I'm happy with the way the thumb turned out. Now I'm going to cover everything up. I use a thicker top coat always to cover up all my art just to make sure that nothing will chip. The color stays really well this way. So I'm using my Magic Gel Brilliant and Universal to do that. And I usually do a slip layer, pardon me. And then I start filling in the nail and making sure that I have a nice apex. These tips actually have a really nice arch on them. I'm just making sure I cover them up so they're nice and even with the art that I drew and then they'll be perfect. They'll look nice and smooth and just a really nice nail when it's done. And I do cure the top coat for 60 seconds. I flash cure each one and then once I'm done all five nails, then I cure for 60 seconds. And of course that micro pen, the white and the black is fully dry before I started covering this one up and then there will be no chipping like I said before. I will show you just top coating one more nail. The stickers are kind of almost 3D and they're a little thicker. So this top coat works perfect for that, for covering them up. Now, if you can't get a professional thicker top coat like Magic Gels, because you're not a professional, you can get Daily Charm has five in one strengthening gel. You can use that to top coat them first. It's actually not a top coat, but it'll cover everything up nicely. And then you can use their Diamond Shine top coat. But there are the nails complete. I think they turned out so adorable. Let me know what you think. A fun Halloween set that's very neutral, but very cute. And I want to thank everybody for watching. If you could like this video, I'd really, really appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I will see everybody in the next one.